Knowledge sharing has always played an important role in our survival. For more than 60% of our world's population who rely on agriculture to survive, the sharing of information can make the difference between planting too early or too late. Knowing where to locate changing water sources, learning how to respond to disasters and adapting to climate challenges. In the most diverse parts of the planet, where ecosystems are often fragile and there is little access to print or online media, rural communities have developed their own unique knowledge networks to pass on critical information. These information systems have played a key role in protecting lives and livelihoods throughout the COVID-19 crisis. To halt the spread of the virus, global lockdowns saw most of the world sheltering in place within their homes. For those people to shelter safely, agricultural workers had to keep growing and producing food, putting themselves and their families at risk of transmission. Meanwhile, local and international border closures and mobility restrictions caused major disruptions in food supply chains and added hardship for millions of food producers. The pandemic deepened the fault lines of inequality around the world. Countries that already had high levels of food insecurity were hardest hit by containment measures with the most vulnerable worst affected. Small-scale farmers face closed markets and struggle to sell their products, and with reduced access to seeds and fertilizers, many could not plant crops. In other areas, pastoralists could no longer move freely, which shortened their migration routes, leading to food shortages for their animals and conflicts between neighboring herders and farmers using the same spaces and scarce resources. As restaurants, hotels and schools temporarily shut down, small-scale fishers sold less produce at lower prices. Women, who are responsible for 60 to 80 percent of food production in the global south, were disproportionately affected by the impacts of the pandemic. In some regions, many took on additional work to compensate for the lost incomes of their husbands, and they bore an extra burden as household caregivers for those who fell ill. As the food disruptions went on, people sheltering in their homes still needed to eat. The challenge was ensuring that food producers and other agricultural workers continued to be able to practice their livelihoods while knowing how to protect themselves from COVID-19 and how to avoid transmitting the virus along the food supply chain. Translating COVID-19 safety guidelines into local languages and adapting them to local contexts, the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations rallied alongside NGOs and community leaders to build upon tried and trusted knowledge sharing systems. Using radio stations, mobile training sessions, farmer field schools and conflict resolution groups, they helped to raise awareness and counter the spread of false information, ensuring that life-saving messages reached food producers far beyond the big cities. As the pandemic continues and looking ahead towards future crises, it's important that the power of community action and knowledge sharing continue to be supported, carving a path towards stronger, more localized food systems and even more resilient communities.